This was something that I wanted to talk about because I think it's ridiculous. Go ahead. And I want to know how niggas think about it. So I was on Twitter the other day. and uh, You was on Twitter every day of your life. But when you were on Twitter the other day, <laughs> all right, Terrence, damn, it's you saying it like, oh yeah, I went to the grocery store the other day, yeah, because you don't do all that right, every day. T- okay, all right, I was on Twitter the other day, and um, this video came up and it says, "Why do men?" Right, and so that's the caption. It says, "Why do men?" And then I'm gonna just play it for y'all. It's basically about cheating on your girl, fellas and ladies that are listening. I think I don't know. I wonder what y'all think about this. I'm gonna play it real quick. Yo, my father, if you hear music in the background, y'all, but scratch that, let's jump right into the video. This is for my young kings and for my ladies. Ladies, take notes. I'm serious. <laughs> my young I kings like and ladies. If you love your girl up to you, cheat. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you. Hold on, wait. My bad. Take notes. I'm serious. I feel like you don't know that you love your girl up to you, cheat. I'm going to tell you why. I'm gonna t- he said, I feel like you don't know if you love your girl until you cheat. I'm going to tell you why. This is him telling us why. Yo, why? I know you're like, oh. Oh, listen, like, this is, I'm serious. If you go cheat on your girl, you feel bad. You can be like, damn, I really did love her. I feel better. I'll never do it again. You feel me? And that's that. And that's being a bigger man. You feel me? The bigger person. I'm going to tell you, like, yo, bae, I fucked up. But listen, if you really do love me like you say you do, you're going to forgive me for my mistakes. You're going to love me for my flaws. You feel me? And I already told you that I, I, I've been through the mistake. I did it. You feel me? Don't take me back and be petting and go cheat on me. Because then, like, you feel me? Like, fuck is wrong with you? Why, why don't you take me back? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard, I mean, that's pretty much it. He's basically saying... <laughs> don't be petty and take me back and then cheat on me. Like, fuck is wrong <laughs> with you? <laughs> I think there's a lot of niggas out there. So, no, wait. What do you think about what this man just said? Do you agree or disagree? I don't agree. I, ve- I vehemently disagree. Mmm, that mm. Then one of them words that you good. Yeah, that's vocabulary right there. I I just I strongly disagree. Um now, I think, con, now here comes the 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 dirty Mac. Go ahead, Terrell. I'm not about a dirty Mac. I have nobody too dirty Mac on. Well, this is an ep- this is like doing that. Dude. I'm not about to be this a simp and a nigga like, that's trying to be a pick me or I am not doing that. He wasn't opening the door you, for you. Nah, you nah, know that you're supposed to open the door every time. I'm, you not, <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm saying the the idea that you you don't love your girl unless you don't know if you love your girl until you cheat to me, I just think that's ridiculous. It was niggas under that joint retweeting like the bad facts. thing. Yeah, the bad. That's what I was gonna say. The bad thing is that niggas was under there saying he got a point though. He right though, and I just feel like a lot of people are. I feel like that's a real immature way of thinking. I don't agree. I feel like you, you know, you love your girl. It, 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 you can you can quantify that love in different ways. Cheating is the ultimate sign of disrespect to relationship. I don't agree with what he said, but I feel like there's truth to what he said, though. Oh, I think you do find out how this much nigga you, Terrence. I think you do find out how much you fuck with somebody if you make a mistake. I'm not saying that making the mistake was like he was saying that shit like you're supposed to do that. I feel like that's like saying I'm, I can tell if I really I can tell how much I really care about you if I stab you. Because if I stab you, and nah, you cry, and nah. you mad, and I'm going to feel bad, like, it. damn, I really care about nah, this Nah, that's not true. Stabbing somebody is violent as hell. It's uh, it's terrible. Jail time. If you cheat on somebody, most of the time, you might have... still... Can I, can I finish? If you cheat on somebody, most of the time, y'all might have... <laughs> most of the time, y'all might have had, like, a, a a fogginess in y'all relationship. You don't know if you was feeling that person, and then you go and do that, and then you realize, damn, I thought I w- didn't want this person, but now that I did this... I actually really do want that person. I'm not saying that what he's saying is right. I'm just saying there is truth to what he's There's saying. There's truth in the fact that you find out that you're fucked up, yeah. yeah. But you don't tell how much you love your girl by cheating. The the way he said it is... is yeah, you would say if you really love your girl, you can't you cheat, agree with then it. He's, but, then, but see, that, I, I see the truth in what he's saying. He's just saying it terribly. Here's the contradiction that, that you run into, and this is where the ladies beat us up all the time, because this nigga goes on to say, don't be petty or don't... Don't be fuck. Don't don't take me back and then cheat on me. Like, what's wrong with you? But it's like, it's a contra- It's like a contradiction. Nah, but him cheating on her doesn't mean all right. I'm gonna I'm take you back. But now I'm gonna cheat on you. That is petty. It is, but it's like, I don't know. I it don't know. I don't know. That's petty. If somebody if, cheat if on you, you if you cheat on somebody and they cheat on you back, you gonna call them petty? If you take me back and say that you forgive, now, now I sound like him. <laughs> But if you take me back and say that you forgive me, only to turn around and go and cheat on me, like, I mean, well, you cheated on me. It's like, 
All right, now you on some petty bullshit. Like you could have just, you could have just. I feel like that's your karma. Fuck alone. That's your karma. Karma comes in a different way. That's not karma. Cause now you're gonna get karma for that. That person. Let me tell you something. That's not true. Karma. This is karma karma happens on its you. own. If you take karma into your own hands, karma's gonna come for you now. What if that karma? Is a what fact. if karma takes you in her own hands and uses you as a catalyst to get karma for the other person? No. So are you listening to what I'm saying, bro? That's a fact. That's not taking true. karma into your own hands. There will be karma that comes back to you. I don't agree with that. Who 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 made that a law? Sure, that's a fact. That's a, a fact. fact. Be, a fact by who? Because you ever heard of two wrongs don't make a right? Yeah, but that's some bullshit sometimes. Sometimes two wrongs don't make a right, but the other wrong feels damn better. And that's a stupid ass statement. People love I'm saying, not saying that. saying look that. how he said it. I'm not saying He said saying it like it. that was some cool shit that he said. I'm not saying it. And y'all like, should see this nigga's face when he's saying it. I'm not that's saying That's not it like, cool shit. Terrence. Two wrongs don't make a right. Terrence, shut the fuck up, Terrence. Oh, here if we go. If somebody cheat on you, and go sleep with somebody else, and you go and sleep with somebody so you else. Go and you're not gonna feel better, like fuck that person. Now, if I'm gonna, especially if you've had ample say, opportunity to do something, if, so I, if you I say fuck that person, this is my thing. I believe in giving somebody a taste of their own medicine, but not when it comes to that. I'll give you a taste of your own medicine when I call you and you say I'm gonna call you right back and then never call me back. The next time you call me, I'm gonna say I'm gonna call you right back and then never call you back. That's not to me. That's not karma. Terrence is somebody that's giving somebody a taste of their own medicine. All right, but can I finish? Go ahead, cause you're wrong. But taking karma into your own hands, that's not giving somebody a taste of their own medicine. That's like revenge. And the bad thing is, so what I'm, goes around comes around. That's like these sayings are truthful, and it doesn't exclude you because you were hurt first. Facts. You. And niggas are going to be like, Terrence is right as hell. Terrence doesn't take his own advice. Yes, I do. We learned that the last podcast when he admitted that this girl was fucked up on a date. That's given. He told this girl he would pick her up for an event and left her stranded. That's, but I don't, I'm not including no other parties. I'm not doing nothing else. Okay. I get what you're saying, Terrence. Um, you know what? That, you, that's giving somebody, uh, giving somebody a taste of their own medicine is not the same as karma. Okay. So let me ask you this. Your favorite movie, I mean, your favorite film director is Quentin Tarantino. Am I right? Correct. So, you're pretty well versed when it comes to his movie, Kill Bill, right? <laughs> yeah, and I'm right? Asking, yeah. All right, let me finish. Okay, and let I'm about finish. to, I mean, you're getting ready to get slammed. Go ahead. He said in that movie, revenge is a dish best served what? Cold. Cold, right? Right. Your favorite, right? Right. Your favorite. Wow, I might get that tatted. But you, what? All right, well, let me finish. It's my favorite movie. It's one of my favorite movies. <laughs> let me finish. In what? the movie, and you can, all right, and this is why I asked you. In the movie, them five people came to kill the bride, right? Right. Whooped the ass, Bill shot in the head, right? She survived. Mm-hmm. She, co- she goes on the rampage to cross everybody off the list. Right. Did she or did she not take karma? In, I'm going to ask you two questions. You're right. Did she or did she not take karma into her own hands? And do you feel like she was wrong and going to get karma for what she did? Or do you feel like that's what's called justice? Oh, my goodness. Y'all have to go and look at Hateful Eight. But when the hangman or the fake hangman, when he talks about the difference between frontier justice and, and I don't know the other justice, but you're literally asking me that same question what he asked. So, okay, so try your best to explain it then. Because that's my question. Because that's what I look like. I'm not. A, I don't agree with. Let me just say that I'm just literally God playing the devil's a- advocate. Sorry, I don't agree with cheating and, and and going and cheating. But look, in every movie you watch, when somebody, uh, family member get killed, or when somebody gets killed, when the next person is about to do the same thing to them, they be like, Nah, I'm not even going to do that, because they understand that what goes around comes around. Watching. How are you not the coming around though? You're, I mean, okay, bet. So you are what's coming around, but you got to let life has to come around. Feel me? Mm-hmm. Think about it. She didn't get to get revenge on everybody because. She uh, literally killed everybody. No, she didn't. She didn't kill. What's his name? See, now I'm fucked up. I forget his name. The bud. Nigga. She didn't yeah, kill she Bud. Did. Oh, well. She, they got the Bud. The, she the, the other him. chick got to L Driver got to him before. Right, but, the, but do you see how the bad that that's that's karma that came back his way. He thinking he doing something dope. He thinking he you know what I'm saying whatever, and that shit came back. So what I'm saying is, in the third movie, Beatrix killed Vernita, the uh, Vivica a. Fox. If you've seen the movie, and Vernita's daughter was standing right there looking up. And and even in the movie, 
Beatrix told her, if one day you feel still, you still feel sour about it, I'll be waiting. That's literally her lining up. All right, bet. This could come back around. She knew what she was doing. So you're right. Two rights don't make a wrong. However. And two wrongs don't make a right. Oh, I'm sorry. Two wrongs don't make a right. The right, I mean, that, that second wrong does feel good. But you're going to have to take accountability that your shit can come back around. Some niggas shoot y'all up. That shit hurts. You spin the block and shoot them up. It's going to hurt them. You can bet your bottom dollar. Or you have to take accountability into the fact that them niggas can spin your block again. And it is a never-ending right. cycle of, of that. So, in the realm of... Thank you for that, bro. Um, but in the realm of cheating... That's why I said you... We, no, no, you're right, you're right. In the realm of cheating, let's, let's just expound on that. Is there ever a time to... Like, as you said, you found some right in what the dude was saying. Not right, but you found some justification or some understanding... I understood what he was trying to say, but it's still terrible to say that. Right. So, and when you think about cheating just in a a broad perspective, right, cheating, do you, have you, okay, you know what people probably want to know, have you ever cheated on somebody? Never. Never. Never.